There are so many super rare items in TF2 that you've probably never even heard of. But one of the most, if not the most elusive special items in all of TF2 is the Golden Wrench. Now, this isn't just like the regular Australian wrench that you can see any old engineer running around with. No, this is a super limited, only 100 in the world item that you literally cannot get anymore. It's actually impossible. And the number of these items out there just keeps going lower and lower. So today, I want to spend some time talking to you about these super rare items. Now, let's start off with a bit of a simple question that might be on your mind if you've never heard of or seen one of these items before. What actually is a golden wrench? Well, it's a wrench that works exactly the same as the stock wrench, but it is covered in gold. Okay, cool. But the Australian is also covered in gold. Why is this one so different and special? Well, just like the Saxi in the Golden Pan, this weapon actually turns people into gold when you kill them with it, which will never not be cool to see in a server. These items are also untradeable, ungiftable, and they literally cannot leave the inventory of the person who crafted them unless they are being deleted. Okay, so now you know what it is. How did they even start existing? You used to be able to receive this as a completely random chance for crafting items during the engineer update. Apparently also, every 25 wrenches crafted meant another section of the update got released, which is such a cool idea. And imagine if every class has that as part of an update for them. I know, I know, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. This happens far too often. This basically meant though that after the 100 golden wrenches were crafted, then the whole engineer update was unlocked. And no more of these wrenches could ever be made ever again. And nobody else could ever get one. Well, there was actually 101 golden wrenches at one point as another one got added into the game as part of a charity auction for some event years and years ago. So technically, yeah, more than 100 of these items did exist at one point, but the 101st item didn't come into the game the same way as the others. But adding a super rare item like this for charity is such a cool idea. This is another thing that goes with my wasted potential video, like why, why didn't they do this more often? I myself think I have seen one or two of these in game, probably in a bunch of trade servers a really long time ago, but I don't think I have a screenshot of them anywhere. It's a super rare sight to see, but I would love to hear if any of you guys watching have found one on a random server before or have seen somebody with it. Let me know. Also, while you're down there, let me know if you've seen one before. Subscribe. Now, I did mention at the start that the number of these items are actually going down. People are deleting these incredible items. But why would somebody do that? Charity is a really good answer. Apparently in one event, 14 of these golden wrenches got deleted as incentives to raise more money. And I'm fairly sure that as years have gone on, even more of these golden wrenches have been destroyed as part of charity events. I know people sometimes do it with the golden frying pans, but I definitely can see that this is a thing that has happened. I can also imagine that a lot of people have deleted their golden wrenches because of the attention that owning one would bring to you, and that would get to be way too much for so many people. It's the same as golden frying pans a lot of the time, or saxies. People don't leave you alone when you own that kind of thing, and for some people who don't want to be in the spotlight all the time, that stuff is exhausting and incredibly overwhelming, so no wonder you end up deleting it, because it's just not worth the stress that comes with having it. Another reason these have technically been disappearing is that they could be in private backpacks, so any tracking site like backpack.tf wouldn't actually be able to find them because they can't look into those inventories. So there's just no way of actually telling that these items still exist. Or they are in accounts that have been backbanned since receiving one, so you never see those accounts on TF2 anymore because they have been banned and they're literally not allowed to play. I would love it if these types of items came back. A golden scattergun would be something I would push hard for if there was ever an update coming out about the scout or, you know, if the scout had a big part of a more general update. I would love this to be a thing. I know it won't ever happen, but it's nice to dream and think of stuff that would be cool for this game. The golden wrench is such a cool, unique, incredible concept, and it's a real shame that Valve haven't done anything else with it. There are also other benefits of doing this type of thing again, and that would be separate from just having a cool item in the game. Now, obviously, the Golden Wrenches came into the game through crafting, so if you did that again, then a lot of metal would end up getting spent trying to get these items. And if a lot of ref gets spent, then the price of ref goes up, which means that the price of keys, at least in refined metal, would go back down, making low-tier trading, at least for a while, a little bit easier. 
So there we have it, the Golden Wrench. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. It would help me out a ton. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.